Welcome to episode 21 of our Comfy UI tutorial series. Today, I will talk about Omnigen, a new model that was just released. It can generate a wide range of images from multimodal prompts and is designed to be simple, flexible, and easy to use. This is their GitHub page where you can read more about what it does. However, I have to warn you that it requires a lot of VRAM. I saw somewhere that it needs around 16 gigabytes. So if your card isn't good enough, it might not work. There are some custom nodes that let us run Omnigen in Comfy UI. And this is one of them. As you can see, we can install it from the manager and then we need some requirements installed. So let's open Comfy UI, go to the manager, then custom nodes manager, search for Omnigen. And there are a few nodes. I tested this version from this user. So click install, then you can restart. However, I'll close it for now because I want to update everything as well. So I'm clicking update all to get the latest version of comfy UI and the nodes. You can see in the command window, what is updating, then the restart button appears and you can restart. After restarting, I'll close the command window to close comfy UI so I can install the dependencies as well. Now back to the nodes GitHub page, we have instructions on how to install it. So we need to go to that folder. I'm going to comfy UI, then custom nodes. And inside custom nodes, we have the comfy UI Omnigen folder. Go inside and copy the command. This command directs us to the embedded Python and installs the necessary dependencies from the requirements text file. In the address bar, type CMD and press enter. This will open the command window in that folder where we paste the command and press enter. Then I can close that window and start comfy UI or restart if it was open. Now you can see here, it says it will automatically download the model the first time and it's quite big. So you'll need to wait for it to download the first time you use it. They included an example workflow. You can click and drag this image into comfy UI and it will load the workflow from the image or you can right click and save the image. And then from workflow, open the image to get the workflow. The workflow is quite simple. You have a node that runs Omnigen. If you search for Omnigen, you can see there's one node that does everything. So it's very easy to use. Then we have a preview image and here you can connect a second Omnigen and tell it what to do with the first image. But first let's run it and see if it works. I click run and the node turns green, which is a good sign. Then we wait since it will take several minutes to download the model. You can see here, it says fetching 10 files. If I go back to GitHub, you know, it says I can also download manually and place it in that folder. So let's go to this link. Omnigen needs a few files to run. And as you can see, it's working, but I have no idea how long it will take depending on internet speed. I will go to the comfy UI folder, then models, and then to LLM. It already created this Omnigen folder and inside we see it already downloaded the smaller files but the big model isn't there yet. On the GitHub page, we see exactly the same files, but that huge model still needs to download. I suggest waiting for the download, or if you want to download it manually, I'll close Comfy UI while it's still downloading. Click download and navigate to that Omnigen folder we saw earlier, saving the model there. It needs to be named model to work. Now we have an idea of how much time it will take two minutes later and there's still a lot of time left. So keep waiting until it's done. Okay. Now the model, uh, finished after around 15 minutes, restart comfy UI and check if it works. If it works the first time. Great for you. If not, this is a good chance to see how I approach errors. It says failed to import and to check if it downloaded correctly. I checked the folder it's there and seems to be the right size. So that's not the problem. In the command window, there's more info, but it's kind of alien language to me. So the solution is to search and see if others had the same problem. On their page at the top, we have issues. And as the title says, failed to import seems to be the same issue as mine. I checked and read the comments to see if someone found a solution. A user commented that they had to run an update in the comfy UI folder. So I went to find that update folder and from here, I'll try to use the update comfy UI batch file. You can use this batch file to update comfy UI. 
Sometimes the manager fails to update it, and this will do the update. After I run it, I go back and start Comfy UI. Let's test again. Okay, the same error, so it wasn't the Comfy UI version or node causing the problem. It must be something with dependencies. I'm closing Comfy UI and going back to the update folder. This time, I'll use update Comfy UI and Python dependencies. After you get this message, press enter and it will start downloading what it needs to update all the dependencies. By the way, on another PC, I got a different error and that error was fixed when I updated the dependencies. So let's see if this error is fixed as well. Wait a few minutes. Here it says it takes under two minutes, so let it finish. When it's ready, we can go back and start Comfy UI. Do you think it will work? Let's find out. A green outline around the node is a good sign. I check the command window. It's still running, no error so far. Nothing is moving, so it's hard to tell what's going on, but have patience. Okay, something moved and it's waiting again. I'm losing my patience a bit here. Okay, we have activity. It says it's processing the prompt, so it seems to be working. And the first image of the woman was generated. So basically that node loaded the model and used the settings to generate an image. I wish we had something like that for Flux too. Now, we use that image in another Omnigen node, and for the prompt, we added that the woman from image one is sitting on top of the mountain. You can see the image is connected to the input labeled image one. You can see it's still processing. I have an RTX 4090, and it still takes a lot of time. Let's go to the GitHub page while we wait, and as you can see, there are some prompt ideas here. Also further down the page, we have these settings. So we can use either image underscore one, image one, or any of these formats. In the command window, we see that in the code, it used that format to recognize image one. The prompt took 140 seconds, which is longer than Flux takes. And this is the result. Not the best image, but it has a lot of potential. In future versions, we'll probably be able to create much better images. But what if I don't want to generate an image and then manipulate it? Um, what if I want to use an existing image? We can delete this node and add a load image node instead. I'll load this portrait of a woman. Now we connect it to the Omnigen node. Let's delete this preview image since we don't need it. Now I want this image of the woman to be on top of the mountain. So I run the workflow. And at first it looks like it's not doing anything, but after that it starts moving and it took 82 seconds. And here's the result. As you can see, it still has some problems, uh, mainly because the resolution is small, but it has potential. Let's change the prompt so she is wearing glasses. The default settings for width and height allow you to go up to 10, 24 pixels, but it will take longer to generate. And here's the result. Maybe I can make it a square image. Let's see. Okay, this is somehow similar. Obviously we need better prompts, but let's do some more tests. Uh, let's see what happens if I add a second image, uh, like this portrait of a wizard and connect it to the uh, image two input. Let's see if I can combine image one with image two by mentioning those images. Then I'll use the maximum size for width and height. Now, when you combine two images, it will take longer than with a single image. So keep that in mind. Okay, something failed here. Maybe it's because I used image one and image two without an underscore. Let me change that and run it again. But on their page, they say I can use that format, so I don't think that's the problem. Okay, uh, still no woman, so it must be something with the prompt uh, that mixed things up. Let's make the prompt clearer so it can understand that image one is a woman and image two is a wizard. Let's try again. Yes, we got a woman now, but the hair color also got mixed up. Let's make it even clearer that the woman has red hair and maybe we can try a different style too. By the way, if you get this error, I got it on an older PC, not on this one. It's because you don't have enough VRAM to run it. You can try lowering the width and height or try smaller models as I'm sure in time models will get smaller and faster. I'm adding solutions for errors on Discord in the Comfy UI Frequently Asked Questions channel. So make sure you check that too. And here's the result. It's not that bad. The cartoon face of the wizard is quite nice. For the woman, the hand looks bad, but we can use in painting for that. Here's another example I got after I finished recording. 
where I used a more detailed prompt and the results were better. Let's go back to a one image workflow and test it to see if we can transform the image into an oil painting. You can use the save image node instead of the preview or right click on the image and save it. On the node's GitHub page, you can find more ideas for prompts. As you can see, you can transform the image into a painting or anime style, combine two images, place both people in a scene, or use the depth map of the first image to generate the second image. You can also detect the pose in one image and apply it to another. There are many new things to try out, and you don't need ControlNet or an IP adapter. It's all in one model, so it has a lot of potential for the future. You can also find information on what each setting does. It's a new model, so I'm still learning and will share my experiments on Discord. And here's the resulting image. The face isn't identical, but is somewhat similar. And I like the painting effect. Uh, the quality isn't as high as with Flux, but maybe we can use Flux to upscale it. So let me copy the image and I'll open a workflow from episode 12, where I talked about upscaling. This image to image workflow could work. I'll paste the image here or load it. And maybe I'll add woman and oil painting in the prompt. Let's run the workflow. Okay. This turned out even better than I expected. I got a nice, sharp, clean image with all those extra details. It's quite cool. I have a large image I can use, even though the initial Omnigen image was lower quality. Let's see if I can change both the hair color and style to resemble a watercolor painting. While you wait, make sure to check the official Omnigen GitHub page as it has more information about prompting and what you can do. You'll need to experiment to see what works and what doesn't as any model has its strengths and weaknesses. I like that I can do so much with one model, but I don't like that it's slow and the quality isn't very high yet. And here is the result. The face is still not quite there, but the rest came out nicely. It took 130 seconds to generate, which is pretty slow. So I, I'm closing Comfy UI and let's try something else that might help those with less VRAM. I don't have a way to test it, but let me know if it works better for you. There is another GitHub page with a smaller version of the model under four gigabytes. To test it, I'll go to the models folder where the Omnigen folder is, rename the model something like backup or model two works, or move it to a different folder. Now I'll download this smaller model and rename it to model. So comfy UI recognizes it. Wait for it to download. You can see I have it here with the correct model name. So it should load this one instead. Now I'll run the workflow again. It seems to run a few seconds faster. By the way, I tried running it again. And as you can see, nothing changed because the seed was fixed. To get a different result, you'll need to change it to randomize if you want to run the same prompt multiple times. And that's all for today. More updates on Discord. Thank you to everyone for supporting the channel, especially the legends, VIPs, and all of you who liked, commented, or sent super thanks. Wishing you all a fantastic day.